All right, let's do this. Get out of here, fly. Get out of here, fly. All right, here we go. I got 20, I got 20 minutes to do this. So let's not misuse them. What's up, people? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Hope you're all doing great. What's happening? Dude, I'm only the best. The best in the West. The bestest. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? So I, I uh, every every day I'm doing a little live here from the treadmill. Only 20 minutes. Stupid fly, get out of here! It's stuff. I got a stupid fly following me around, man, fighting me. Maybe, it, maybe I don't smell good this morning. I don't know. I took a shower. Maybe it's my beard. It's attracted to the beard. It's a smelly beard. Uh, yeah. Every every day I'm doing a I'm doing a little. I'm doing a little uh, walk here for for uh, uh, 20 minutes, just 20 minutes every day. Uh, a little live where I come to you and I and I just you know chit chat about different things, man. Different things. So lately I've been I've been adding this to my to my to my routine to my daily routine. Uh, I've noticed that. I, I, I gained a few more pounds during the during COVID, and uh, and I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta do something. <laughs> and so, I brought a treadmill to my to my art studio. As you can see, look, there's paintings being packaged over there. So we're in my art studio right here. There's all kinds of paintings over there that are getting ready to be packaged by by Marcel. And uh, Look at that. So we're in my studio here. It's oh, I got that from my son right there. He can play some basketball. Hopefully, he doesn't ruin any paintings. Oh, and this is what I'm doing. Just a just a a, a walk, you know. Maybe add a little bit of speed, a little bit, little little by little. But that's all I'm doing. How's it going, Alicia? Buenos días, Jessica. Ya te despertaste, caray. Que bien, que bien, que bien. So that is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm adding this to my to my daily routine. I try to I try to squeeze it in there. Not very early in the morning. Sometimes sometimes early. Uh, usually around around tenish tenish a.m. is where I'm trying to squeeze it. That's when I got when I got a. Uh, uh, I don't know. Most of the things done that I need to get done that are that, are, that press me really hard early in the morning, and so so I squeeze it in there. But nevertheless, it's added. Now, some people say this is the this is the thing you should be doing first thing in the morning. I agree. Uh, but my my schedule it's not set up for that right now. I know my beard is like super super nasty. I have to. But the guy, I need a haircut too. Look, freaking hair is growing too, out of out of control. And so, voy al super. Ah, qué bien. Un juguito de lima para mí, por favor. Si me puedes agarrar un jugo de lima. Did I miss them jugos de lima? So that's really what's. Uh, That's really what's going on right now. Um, just adding something, you know? Hey, what's up, Dino? Just adding something, a little something. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I'm always looking to add something to my, to, my, to my routine. And this was very necessary. I hadn't, I hadn't I've been thinking about, I have been thinking about this for a long time, but I uh, just hadn't 
had to squeeze it in there. Looking very Parisian. I know. I'm like, I'm like, je ne sais quoi, comme si, comme ça, Francois. This is my painting. So, I'm doing this. Les croissants. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's that's pretty pretty Parisian to me too. <laughs> and so. So this is what I'm adding. I'm adding a little bit of a little bit of cardio, a little a little walking. Uh, maybe at some point I'll start running. Who knows? But right now, just 20 minutes a day. That's all I'm doing. Lord knows my body needs it. And so, <laughs> Lydia, what's happening? Algo más? Este? No, no. Yo creo que es todo. Si 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 ya es hora de de, de... correrle. No, ni madres. Me canse, luego después ya no me voy a querer subir. <risa> si empiezo a correr, luego después le voy a tener miedo a esta máquina. No, no, no. Poquito a poco. Paso a paso. Así se llega lejos. And so... Yeah, this is, this is pretty much... Uh, it's pretty much my day right now. Squeezing in different things. Um... I'm opening a, another couple of uh, shops online. Hello, <laughs> si cierto. I'm opening a couple a couple new shops online also, and uh, and my wife and I are opening a, a sort of like a yard sale type online. We're gonna be doing that. <laughs> gracias, gracias, Jessica. We're, we're we're opening one of those. Uh, one of those eBay eBay shops because uh, we have a lot of stuff that we need to just you know get rid of and uh, and people are always asking me to sell their stuff they're like can you sell my stuff I'm like oh no I can't I sell artwork <laughs> I don't sell you know I don't sell watches and use things on eBay and uh, so it's been overwhelming the, the amount of things that we've have collected over the years that you can't just throw away, you know, because it's it's good stuff. It's not new, but it's good stuff that you could just sell somewhere or whatever. So so we're doing that as well. Botanical says, I hope you achieve your fitness goals, health, body, change, health, and tough. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm going after it. Well, you know, the reality is that I honestly I don't really have a goal. And 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 uh, I just I don't like there is a goal, right? Of course, there's a goal to to be fit and whatnot. But but uh, I've noticed that the best things that I've done in my life, I think, are things that I sign up for perpetuity. You know, just things that I sign up forever, right? Like um, creating artwork. There are goals in my career, but I know that the goal is just to create artwork every day and to create as much as I possibly can in a window of about 12 hours, right? That's, that's my goal. How much artwork can I create in a window of about 12, 12 hours a day? And uh, it's always been the goal to create art. Um, so so I, I hope that when I'm older, I have the energy Right, I have the energy. If, if I if I get to a, an age where uh, I'm much older, I hope that I have the energy to to be able to create artwork for for 12 hours a day. You know, it might not be that, but probably not that. Right, when you get older, but but maybe who knows? And so so this this uh, jumping on a treadmill thing is uh, is one of those things. I'm like, what can I sign up to forever? Like till I die. What can I sign up to? And then it just hit me. Dude, you can sign up to, 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 it was 15 minutes really. But it was like, no, 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 no. It's gotta be, it's, it's gotta be like half an hour. All right? that's what I thought. I can sign up to that. And then I was like, I gotta start with 15 minutes. And I was like, no, no, but if, and then I kinda, I kinda worked it in my mind, right? And I was like, no, dude, it's gotta be 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's not 15, it's not 30. It's 20 minutes. You can do 20 minutes till you die. 
or some sort of cardio, some something. I can jump on a treadmill. Right now, I'm 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 just walking with a little bit of speed because uh, that's where I'm at right now. You know, I can probably run, but like I said, I don't I don't want to start that way. I want to start like this and then and get used to the get simply get get used to being here. You know, for 20 minutes a day. I've done this with artwork. Um, a lot of people out there, they stop painting. And you have no idea that if you stop painting, the worst thing that happens, it's not necessarily that, that, I don't know, like you run out of ideas or whatever. No, when you paint for a long time, when you paint every day for about, I don't know, three months, you know, no more than that, but every single day, and you actually push yourself. Uh, I know I know artists that are full-time artists that are not really pushing themselves. They're just painting, and they don't. What I mean, push themselves is that is that they paint almost every day. They almost push themselves. Some days they'll paint one hour. Other days they'll paint eight hours, and it's never consistent. When you get something consistent and you do it for for a good period of time, it's about 90 days. You start getting paid dividends. Your artwork becomes, flows better. More people get to know you. Someone who bought a painting from you now is telling 10 other people. And it's a, uh, you start getting dividends all over the place. Not just from sales, but from the way that you paint, from the uh, adjustment, the, the, the muscle memory, and on and on and on. And so, I don't even like going on vacations because I don't like to unplug that. I do, I learn to go on vacations. We do it, I go, you know, we, we go to places, my wife and I, my, my son, uh, but I don't, they know I don't like going on vacations. I don't like unplugging from that. Not because I'm a workaholic, or maybe I am, but uh, because I understand, I understand the fruit of it. The, the fruit that you're getting when you're, when you do something every day without stop is, is, uh, is bonkers. It's bananas. You're, uh, you get into a uh, flywheel. This is, I think this is why a lot of artists have a hard time with it. Because they paint and then they stop, they put it away, they come back to it. Uh, they, they stop for a couple of weeks. I know pros that stop, that stop uh, their artwork, um, you know, every other day. And they're pros, you know? So they paint like four days a week. Uh, three days out of those four are are very strong days. One day is kind of like half ass, but they only do it four days and they skip days. So there's the, the, the muscle memory is not there. I remember reading uh, uh, Michael Phelps, uh, his coach was talking about how Michael Phelps never missed. Uh, I believe it was either four or six. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. That's a lot of hours though in the water. Four or six hours swimming every single day since he was a teenager. It doesn't have to be 12 hours a day, right? It was between four and six hours in the water. But every single day since he was a teenager, uh, you know, doing his, doing his swimming uh, uh, laps or whatever. And that's how those fuckers become champions. It's 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 not so much it's not so much that you do it and you do it hard. It's that you do something that you never stop. Intensity is important. I think it's important. As an artist, I understand that intensity is important. What do I mean by this? It's really three pillars. It's three pillars. That's how that's that's how I run my 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 career as an artist. Just three pillars. The first pillar okay the first pillar is you got to show up every day every single day if you can't do it at least five days a week but you got to show up every day whatever every day is for you every day might be four days five days six seven days a week whatever every day in your mind that you can do um that's the first pillar the second one is you got to paint for a specific window of time and don't mess with that window of time. 
don't mess with it. It might be one hour, or, it, or, you're, or you're crazy like me, you're painting 12 hours a day. It's a window of time, okay? Can't mess with it. It's just a window of time. I don't care if it's one hour, two hours, it doesn't matter. It's going to start paying you. It's going to, it, it's going to reward you very fast. But you gotta choose your window of your window of time. Something that you can do over and over and over. Okay? That's the second pillar. The third pillar is you have to take your time, but you gotta keep moving. What that means is you have to be very present, right? But don't overthink. Take your time with it. Take your time with your painting, but you but but you gotta keep moving. That's the third pillar, and uh, that's how I, that's how I do everything. Uh, my my artwork here. Every single day, it's like okay, show up every day. Pillar number one, pillar number two. There's a window of time, and, and that window of time is sacred. It's a sacred that's showing up every day. And the third thing is be very present when you're painting, but don't overanalyze. You can't be like, oh man. I already did a painting like this. I'm not gonna paint something like this again. It's not new, it's not, it's not creative bullshit. Just do it. But you gotta take your time. A lot of people don't take their time. They don't take their time. And uh, so there's, there's two poles of that third pillar. There's people that don't take any time with their work. And as a result, they do very sloppy work. And they, they never quite tune in or tune it because the other, it's usually because the other two pillars are sloppy too. There's a there's stress associated with it. I gotta paint, I gotta paint, I gotta paint. Especially people that get paid for painting. Uh, you gotta take your time with it. Good things, you, you have to take your time with good things. Uh, that's one of the poles. People don't take their time. The other pole is people take way too much time. Meaning they sit there and they start looking at their painting. They flip it around. They overanalyze the painting or the work they're doing. And so they procrastinate. Even though they're there, you could be there you no know, every day, window of time. I've done this myself in my career. Every day, the same window of time, but now, now I'm fucking with it. I'm procrastinating. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing Google search on new images, new ideas. You're procrastinating with it. You're playing with it now. And so, those, those three pillars need to be very tight. And that's, that's how you start getting some shit done. Let's see. First pillar is shop. Shop every day. Shop art supplies. <laughs> no, art supplies. Art supplies is not part of the pillars. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alicia. Any advice for artists with a full-time day job? Yeah, absolutely. Do the same thing. I, I, I when I when I started, uh, I had two, two jobs, two jobs, right? Uh, full-time, both. I was working 16 hours. I I try to see if I could squeeze in 30 minutes a day. That's not for everybody. I know a lot of people need their need their sleep and and whatnot. I was sleeping on average of about six or seven hours every night, but I was squeezing in 30 minutes every single day. Just like I'm squeezing. This, this is why I believe in small pockets. Because the, the 30 minutes kept me in the game. They kept me in the game, you know? Now I know there's people out there who have more than 30 minutes. I know there's people out there who, if you do an inventory of your time, there's people out there who are watching three four hours of Netflix a day I mean I don't I don't there's no shame in the game right uh, but if you want to be an artist and you're watching you know three hours of, it kind of doesn't work right and so I'm not I'm not here to shame anybody everybody we all do things that we need to do and that and escapism or whatever we need to do but uh, but being being a being an artist is gonna require some time so you got to shave some time from other places You gotta shave some time if you wanna make the thing work. And so this is why I believe in, in small pockets. Um, I'm just doing 20 minutes of, of walking here. A little bit of speed, not too much. But you know, it's been a few weeks now. Week one, week two, week three. It's gonna start, it's gonna start, uh, 
It's going to start paying me dividends. Like everything, everything pays you dividends. Everything. But you got to do it for, for a sustained period of time, right? It starts paying you. Um, I found this out pa through painting, through creating artwork. The artwork that I do when I'm slacking gets not just the artwork, but the, the, the energy there is very low. But if I'm if I'm if I haven't missed any any of my days, I work I work six days a week, right? Work out complete. Look at that, boom. So if I haven't missed any of my any of my days for three months, it's usually around, around ninety days. The energy there is completely different. Everybody sees it. People people contact me and they're like. Oh Jose, I see that you're selling a lot of artwork or the or the prices on your eBay auctions are going are going really high. Or that that is not a coincidence. That is the result of sustained, consistent behavior. Um, I've noticed that the the energy is very different. It's very, very different. Um, what ends up happening is that, like I say, it pays you dividends. It pays you dividends. And dude, I'm I'm like sweaty all over the place here. Baby, I have to do it because I I uh I can't be like you know I can't be sluggish, man. I gotta exercise, so I gotta do something. Del Carmen says, I'm watching from my office job and this is definitely inspiring me. I love that. Yeah, just anything, you know, anything that you do, but you, you just got to do it every day. It's, it's just like anything else, you know. There's there's people that drink every day, you know. Uh, there's people that smoke every day. We have we have habits that, 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 that might be hard, right? That might be hard on us. Thank you, thank you. We have habits that might be hard on us, habits that, that, that may not be necessarily hard, maybe not be necessarily negative, but that are hard, right? I, 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 was, I was getting used to having a bowl of popcorn every day, watching, watching Netflix for like an hour. I, I would leave, during the pandemic, I would leave here and I started watching uh, TV and snacks, right? Snacks at night. And I noticed that I, I easily gain over 20 pounds and so so I was like holy shit like any any habit that you do daily it starts start fucking with you right or starts helping you either either or and so so um, so yeah um, I draw all the time every day plus reading and studying knives yeah you gotta just keep something going and especially you know the good stuff keep the good stuff going Let's see, Karish says, uh, thank you. You could record all these live videos. They're gold, full of life and business lessons as well. I love that. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, everybody. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay, stay sophisticated. I got to get myself my coffee, man. My coffee's here. Let me get my coffee. If you all have any questions about anything, um, feel free to, to DM me. My coffee at man. <laughs> I'm waiting for my the door dash is like hit or miss sometimes. I feel like they always miss my 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 address, even though I put this big ass numbers there. Look on the door. I feel like they miss it. Oh, there it is. Cafecito, claro, Milady. Un cafecito. Coffee. Yeah, Jose? I think that's what's Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You too. Take care. Got the coffee. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just, I gotta get that coffee on. And so one of the things that I was doing with my coffee is that I was I was putting cream 
And a friend of mine was like, dude, dude, how many coffees do you drink? I was drinking about two coffees a day. Now I'm just drinking one. But I was drinking about two coffees a day. Two, two, uh, two Starbucks co Benti coffees. And uh, he told me, he told me that cream's going to fuck with you. And he exercises and does all that, all that, you know, taking care of his body and shit. <laughs> all that shit I need to do. And he's like, that cream's going to fuck with you, dude. He's like, uh, change it for 2% for, for, uh, or, or just regular milk. But don't, don't put cream. Cream is, is too heavy. And, and if you're doing that twice a day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess with you. Uh, you know, within a year, it's going to start messing with you. Uh, so one of the things that has helped me is I think about stuff yearly or five years or 10 years. And so w what is the habit, right? I've, I've, I've thought about that in, in my career life. I was missing thinking about that in my personal life and other, other areas of my life, like health and fitness, family, that type of deal, right? There are things that you do every day that if you think about it, uh, they're not necessarily helping you, or maybe they are, you know, they are helping you. Uh, a good morning kiss to your spouse before you leave the house, uh, a thank you, uh, I appreciate you, that, that type of thing, it, it creates weight over the years, right? It creates weight. And so it's a good thing. Hola, Chanel. ¿Cómo estás, Chanel? I got my coffee on now. Boom. What is it? It's flat white. It's not mine. It's yours, Marcel. Pour moi. Pour moi. It's mine. Boom. Chicken espresso, baby. Mmm. Got all kinds of espresso shots in there. Uh, when I start painting, I can't stop before two to four hours. As I end up working on multiple and then, and what? Oh, multiple of them together. But I can practically only spare 30 minutes each day. Yeah, just do that. It doesn't matter if you're working on one or you're working on multiple. As long as you put in that time, whatever that time is. 30 minutes, one hour. But if you're crazy like me, you're going to be putting 12 hours. But you don't have to do that. I don't even have to do that. My wife always tells me, dude, we're fine. Just you work seven hours. She tells me, like, paint seven hours. You don't have to paint twice as much. Um, but I don't, I don't, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because it's what I know I have to do. So, there it is. Peace out, my friends. Stay well and sophisticated. Adios.